Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. There's a young sister by the name of Alina Wicker. She is 13 years old. You know, we are definitely proud of our black American young sister here. She has been accepted to medical school at the age of 13. Let's go ahead and roll that. 13 years old, Elena Wicker is making history. Yes! <laughs> so she has officially been accepted into the University of Alabama Hearsing School of Medicine at 13 years old. Learning she was accepted to medical school, the youngest black person to ever do so. I really want to leave my mark on the world and leave the, a group of girls that know what they can do. We first interviewed Elena last year when she got accepted to Arizona State University's engineering program at 12 years old. After that, she quickly made national headlines with dreams of working for NASA. I always like to be an engineer because during my life, I like building. But in a year, things have changed. It actually took one class in engineering for me to say this is, this is kind of not where I wanted to go. She found a new passion in biology. That class was amazing. You did it. She now wants to be Dr. Elena Wicker, MD, instead, hoping to become a viral immunologist, a doctor that studies viruses. I think the viral immunology really came from my passion for volunteering and going out there engaging with the world. She says she was inspired by a trip to Jordan and her efforts to get more girls of color interested in STEM as the brown STEM girl. We can find cures for these viruses. In just one year, Elena has already finished two and a half years of college by taking a full course load at ASU and Oakwood University in Alabama. She attends class virtually from her home state of Texas, then flies in for her lab courses. She makes it sound easy. It's really just Keeping on top of your work. Showing the next generation they can do anything. I want to inspire the girls. I want to, them to see that there's... You know, with all the negativity you like to say about black children, there's many black children, black American children, that's out here that's doing very, very well and making us proud as a black American community. That come from our community, our stock, our lineage. You know, that's us right there. You know, that, that's what everybody else say when they come from other places, you know, when they um, talk about when they people become, uh, you know, getting accepted into law school and doctors, they, they quick to say, that's us. Ooh, look at us. Well, you know, I think black Americans just start doing the same thing because we don't celebrate enough when, when our kids are, are getting achievements like other black immigrants celebrate. I mean, I think that's a good thing that we should start doing, identifying, hey, that's a black American right there. You understand? Um, but one thing that I heard in this story that, that piqued my ear is that the little girl got inspired when she went on a trip to Jordan and say, with you know, her family. And it goes back to what I was trying to tell black America, teach your children to expand their mind and travel with your children, travel. They need to go see different countries, different ways of living. It expands your mind. I'm telling you, my mindset now versus prior to me traveling is like night and day. Because first of all, you learn the world doesn't revolve around you and what you got going on, first and foremost. Two, there's other ways of living. Three, it may be some things from other cultures that you appreciate versus maybe where you live now and may want to even implement certain things from different cultures, right? Every country I've been to, I've learned, I appreciate the countries I've been to, all of them, and what I've learned. 
you know, because I mean, I've been to too many countries and I've been to Mexico. One thing that impressed me about Mexico was the level of service. You know, service was crazy in Mexico. It's like, you know, and I went way before the violence got started though. You know, I went early 2000s. That's the last time I've been to Mexico, right? But I was just impressed how you barely, you barely, your drink get down. They right there to replace it. You ain't got to go looking for them. Here in America, you got to be calling people to replace your drink for something, right? You know, a, 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 the food was inexpensive. Spending $3 at the time and getting big plates of, you know, huge meals. You know, when I went to um, Ethiopia, you know, 2018. Of course, you know, my first time going to the motherland, enjoying the culture. I loved Ethiopian food. I still love Ethiopian food to this day. Love it. Can't get enough of it. Shout out to Ethiopia. That, that was a country that opened the door to say, come on in, and to invite us into the, uh, the African continent. And I always will appreciate Ethiopia for that and, and the reception I received from the brothers and sisters in Ethiopia. You know, when I went to Kenya, you know, same thing. Beautiful country, beautiful people, which we will be going back to Kenya in November. Make sure you sign up for that. Last time I checked, there was eight spots left. Jump on that. It's going to be pretty good. I want y'all to miss that. Take that break from Babylon. You need it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I learned things in Kenya. You know, when I went to Turkey, you know, at least I went twice to Turkey, right? You know, my little girl came with me the second time around. And she learned a lot of things with her being in Turkey, just doing international trips and, and things like that. So that, that was good, like I said, for my little girl, you know, to go to Turkey, right? Um, we went to South Africa as well. You know, at least, well, my family didn't, at least I did, which I will be taking to South Africa next year. Uh, that'd just be a family trip because we, we definitely looking at South Africa for our second address. I, that's what I'm really looking at. I mean, I really fell in love with South Africa a lot uh, when I went there. And, um, you know, expand your kids' minds, folks, because you don't know what could inspire them while they're traveling and seeing different things. And don't say what you can't afford, because save your money. Because I see black folks at every restaurant, definitely here in Houston, expensive restaurants. You got them Gucci belts on, you're walking around with Louis Vuitton, you're driving Mercedes, you're driving Lexus, you're driving all kind of nice things. You look fly. And, and so if you look fly, that means you can afford some plane tickets to fly too. You just don't want to appropriate those things. But, you know, our young sister here, like I said, is, is, is a testament of her great parents. And I know they do well for themselves because to fly that little girl to those colleges to do her labs and all of that. But that's great because it's your job as parents to do well, to be successful as black American people, in spite of the devil, to be successful and invest into our children. So our children could, could be our future. But, you know, shout out to our young sister. Like I said, you, you make us proud. You make us very, very proud. Um, but, yeah, leave me a comment. Then I'll just think about, you know, our young sister here, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, inspire your children too. travel. Travel is my thing. Travel, travel, travel. Because I know next year we start doing more channel. We're going to start a whole new travel channel. That's how much traveling we plan on doing next year. Um, so make sure so we get ready for that because we need more black people out there traveling. Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and, and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com.